So we're finally learning more about this Fisher Tiger, and the more I learn about him, the more I'm just like, does Fishman Island just breed Jigga Chads like him and Jimbe? Apparently. You know what else it also makes? Arlong and Horty Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. I'm checking out more One Piece today. We're in Fishman Island, and it's kind of chaotic, but we're learning more and more about Fisher Tiger and what, what happened with Arlong and Jimbe back in the day. I'm excited to get into this one because I love the, these lore dumps of just backstory. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop us up and let's get started yeah it's like he's happy that he freed them but fish tiger inherently represents the fishmen and what they stand for whenever he does that scream from his soul jeez man oh the little heart oh about him attacking Rowan and alone. So once he he had his crew, did they just start going everywhere and like freeing people? So she took action at the same time. This is the white beard flag. Yeah. And she said she had such a bright vision for the future. Ah, so that divided Fishman Island alone. T the uh, Fisher Tiger actually like fighting for them, like actively. They saw more action. 7 11 15. Now it's 16 years from then, and it's still bad, unfortunately. Man. Little Horny! Oh, yeah, this is his crew now. Oh my gosh. Is that inherently what they were doing, though? They were just running around, just destroying humans? So they got this certain idea in their head of what the, the Sun Pirates were, but is that what they were? They more wanted to just take action and, and free people, show that Fishman weren't to be just, like, run over. Dude, their ship looks so cool. Who is this goofball? Their ship kind of looks like an alternate version of, uh, of Whitebeard's uh, Moby Dick. Kind of the same shape. They couldn't fight against Fishmen. God, dude, Fishmen would be absolutely terrifying for, for the Marines. I mean, dude, they just like jump out of the water full speed. God dang, the, the sheer strength of them. Like, they're stronger than regular humans. Yeah, see, they weren't they weren't just running around killing humans, they were freeing people. Like I said, I think Horty Jones, like those kids, like if the new fishmen got the wrong idea. But also Arlong started to break off from the, the Sun Pirates at some point and form his own ideologies about just destroying all humans too. It's like they branched in different ways. Says you! Yeah, listen to what you're saying. Return these slaves. It's like Jimbei's like frustrated that they just don't understand. Yeah. Ah, Jimbei was kind of leaning more towards Arlong's side at this point, I feel like. God, dude, what a unit. Just chucked him off board. Yeah, so how did he die eventually? God dang! It means so much more now. Dude, the fact that like, oh my gosh, back in Arlong Park, we saw that symbol. It's nuts, man. We're not slaves. It's gone. How much that means now? He spares them. He won't just kill all of them just for fun. It, the Fisher Tiger's main goal was still just freeing people. It was teaching them a lesson. Yep. Arlong was already... Oh, Arlong was already way past where, where Fisher Tiger was. Holy. <gasps> oh, Kizaru! Oh, he's in Borsalino. Oh, shoot. I recognize that voice. Look at him. He doesn't even have the yellow suit yet. The gold. This is his biggest tiger. Hmm? This biggest tiger? Am I stupid? So Fisher Tiger was trying to be better. He's trying. And Arlong heavily disagreed. So why would Jinbei send him out the East Blue then? Knowing how dangerous he was. Just to get him away from Fishman Island? We won't kill anyone. God dang. Yeah, 
Uh, Jinbei still agreed with Fisher Tiger. So he did branch off eventually, like even though Jinbei was, or even though Arlong was led by him, Arlong completely disagreed. I, I, I thought Fisher Tiger eventually fell into like, yeah, we should just kill humans. But no, he was straight up just like, no, we just free and we're still trying to bridge that gap, sort of like Odohime. But again, the question is what happened to him and Odohime? We know Odohime got assassinated, but why, who, how? These are important questions. He's trying to be the bigger person, despite all the death and everything he's seen. Demon hiding in my mind. What? Giving in? Just saying no? Humans don't deserve anything? Luffy's listening very intently, as he should. So they were fighting physically. She was trying to like make war and try to change people's minds about it. Man, she tried so hard and people just didn't follow her. Oh, what was Jimbei's bounty? What was Fisher Tiger's bounty, bro? 230 million, 76 million. His first bounty. That young girl. 12 years ago. Oh. Who is this? She looks so happy. Oh. oh, so they wanted just wanted them to take her home? Koala? Oh, it's because she's a human that they, they look at her like that. Okay, that makes more sense. Look how happy she is just to be there. Oh my god, he was actually about... Oh my god! Dude, a child that is, is so pure hasn't even been taught like discrimination like that. I would think. That's why she smiles. It's like children are like a blank canvas. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Our lord feels pretty bad now. Ah. Oh. She's scared of them like they they were scared of, of humans whenever they were kids. The pendulum swung and it swung hard. I guess, yeah, she was also a slave. Ah. God dang, dude, it's a child. So she just smiles. She's still bleeding. You gonna protect her. He brand her? Oh. Rid her of being a slave, but she wouldn't understand that. Maybe until much later. I mean, was he inherently saving her by doing that? <laughs> the way she sat up. I didn't cry. Please don't. Oh my gosh! This is so sad. What is he gonna do? What? Oh, show her that. Oh, the smile broke. Nah, she's still kind of that he doesn't want to have to fight, especially when there's no enemies here. God, he was he was adamant. This kid was like a direct example of him trying to end this cycle of hatred. The world didn't deserve Fisher Tiger or Queen Odahime. And Arlong, he's not convinced in the slightest. Nothing would. She's actually crying. Dude, the, the societal themes here just get deeper and deeper. And man, seeing who Fisher Tiger is, it's just, ugh. It makes my heart hurt to see that the, the world is, is just as bad, if not worse, 16 years later. Knowing that despite how hard they tried to bridge this gap, both him and Odohime, that the, the, the same relationship still exists between fishmen and humans to this day. Okay, I believe 542 is Phil Worse. We go to 543. How much time went by? The former slave girl. Aww. They got her clothes and everything man oh yeah she needs to be with her mom bro it's still like embedded in her yeah aladdin yeah it's gonna take time god dang dude she's a child she's pure she doesn't know that that hatred oh no nah. i mean realistically they might actually yeah unfortunately it doesn't mean they can't try to be better yeah, Arlong was just murdered everyone they saw. And that's what he went on to do in East Blue. Took them and used them. Jinbei putting it in perspective. 
Also possible, yeah. She's just got the smile on her face. If you don't know someone, you naturally fear them. They didn't know any. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, Odohime, yeah, she's still, she's going for the same goal, just a different way. Aww. <laughs> Achi's so adorable, bro. Arlong was just the one that he couldn't, the, the fish tiger couldn't get. Everybody else was ready to follow him in that way. They all dropped their blades and weapons and everything. The little snowman. I'm not ready for whatever happens, man. How they split off, how how Jinbei sent Arlong off. I, what have, happened to Fisher Tiger? What happened to Odahime? Oh, it's just like I know the predicament we're in now. Fool Shout Island. Oh, it's a bunch of cacti. And how long did it take them? She's back home. Aww. They, they start this new cycle one person but it, you just you try your best to cover as much ground as you can that's what fisher tiger is trying to do alongside literally freeing slaves like i said the same objective as Odohime is just a different path oh it makes him nervous <laughs> oh my gosh my heart he just sees it as a waste of time because it's something it's more than nothing oh man i feel like they're gonna see fisher tiger and just be scared though or maybe they'll see direct like uh, uh impact from him bringing her back they literally took her all across the ocean just to get her home this entire crew Yep, there it is. He literally brought her back. You can't be serious! Don't even thank him. He just turns and leaves. God dang it! She's just written off because she's a child. Uncle Tiger. Walk in their shoes, live with them. Oh, my heart just cracks. When you grow up, you'll be different. You won't think the way they do. No! Rear Admiral Strop? What is this hair? Someone on the... They got tipped off. There's no way, bro. What even is a Rear Admiral? The rifle property. The oh my god. Duh. There's no way. It was a setup, man. There's no goddamn way. Oh! Like that? Shot down on the same goddamn island? Oh my god, dude. And Arlong's just gonna be like, I told you guys, see? There's no point. He's literally just proving Arlong's point. This is where they completely split. And where our Fisher Tiger dies. That doesn't look like white. It looks kind of like Baratie. That's what I thought. I think they already shot him down, bro. He doesn't even get like last words or anything. They just like executed him. You have to bring him back safely so that I can show you I was right. The sad part is the harder they fight their way out of it, the the worse fishmen look. Just I, they they just the, the the Marines and the Navy and just humans are getting what they want. Oh, never mind. God damn. Yeah, he just has to fight his way out. What else is he to do? Just sit there and take it and die? Because fishmen are so much stronger than humans. I can't with the strawberry dude's hair, bro. It's fired over and over and over again. Oh, my God. Uh, man. Walla never even knew. So heartbreaking, man. Damn! The clash of titans. Oh. Oh, they rescued him! Oh! And took a navy ship. Oh, he didn't fall there. Oh. He just let himself die? Oh, this is just like Sanji for real. Yeah, but he didn't want a transfusion with human blood. 
Is it like symbolic? That... Oh, damn. Oh my god. Oh, he flipped to the very end. Seeing that, he, he, he lost all hope. Like torn apart. Oh. What? What happened? He said humans. He saw humans. Huh? He was a that's why he was so focused on her over anyone else. Don't take blood, don't do anything. He didn't switch at all. He just wanted them to take the, the, the brunt of the damage. Not let the humans think any differently. Damn. The devil inside him telling him that it's not worth. God damn. That's all he wanted. Damn, so when he died, it just tore them apart. And that he did. Again, I said it's even sadder that 16 years later, not, not that much has changed, if anything. He literally could have been saved. I, I think the, the most interesting part about the whole thing is like the, this devil inside him and how conflicted he felt, despite wanting good. It would be so easy for them to make Fisher Tiger like this all great fish man, where he's like, no, we should want peace and that's what we should fight for. And he does that, but he's honest that there's a part of him that's like, no, these humans are horrible to us. They treat us horribly. I literally saw it firsthand being a slave and we should just b b live on our own. We should be our own sort of community. I think it's so much, it's such good writing. They, that, that's like, that's one small detail is that devil inside him and the fact that he didn't take the blood because almost it's almost unrealistic if he were to be so headstrong and knowing that he, what he was doing was right because it would be so much easier for him to just flip over and be like, no, kill all these humans. Arlong's doing what's easier inherently. They're all going through it the, the same way, but Arlong just submits to just murdering everyone, even if they have nothing to do with the, what the oppression that is put upon them. Jembe is is the one that's fighting harder. Odahime is the one that's fighting harder, trying to find a world where everybody can be together. It's so interesting, man. It's just yeah, the, the, the societal issues this arc have, has, have hit me like a brick wall, man. It is nuts. But guys, that has been it for my reaction to One Piece today. I even got teary eyed, teary eyed whenever Fisher Tiger was was leaving Koala. My goodness. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.